Hey guys, this is me Pranav from Gadgets Inform. Today I'm here to show you how to flash Cyanogen OS on your Eureka running stock Android 12.4.4.4. As you can see, it's Android 4.4.4 KitKat. So now I'm going to trick you through a step by step guide on how to install and Cyanogen OS 12.1. So first thing first, before you go into any questions, I'm going to tell you it does not rule void warranty and you don't need to root. So let's start. First, you need to power off the phone. Press OK. And let it power off. And now we'll move on to the next step. Yeah. Uh, there's a file in the description link, down, link box down below. It's a 684 MB file, 64 MB file. Make sure to download it. This is a zip file. Download it from the link in the description box down below. Extract the extract the files in a single folder, all of them, and make sure it's 684 MB because it does make a difference. So I'm I am sure I'm gonna skip this part as it's going to take some time. Just wait a second. After the extraction is done, I'll show you. Wait, yeah, now. You can see the folder, right? Open the folder, open it up, and check whether you have a flash file in it. And name a file named flash. As you can see, we have that file here. So I can move on to the next step now. You remember the phone which we previously powered off? Now connect a USB cable to your computer, hold down the volume button, and plug in the micro USB cable in your phone. The phone should boost, boot up in fast boot mode, and you should get a screen saying fast boot mode. So if you done if it's if you done it right, then you can move on to the next step. Now double click on the flash file. I run it as an administrator. That doesn't make much difference. You can just double click on the file, and you'll get window. Wait a second. Let it open up. You'll get a window like this one. If if you get a device error like waiting for device I'll post a link in the description box down below this was that video it might help you now it'll ask you to press any key to continue just press any key and it, it'll take time it'll maybe a 10 to 15 minutes this key in the middle it'll be asking you to press any key to continue just press the keys and go on even if you if it you get an error rather than waiting for device just in the USB port in which you have plugged in because even I got an error, I just in the USB port, and no, we can see as it worked. You can see it has worked. So it's going to ask you to press key, press key, press any key to continue, press any key to continue, and finally, it will ask you to press volume up button on your phone to confirm. Do that, and you'll get this. After this is the last step, it'll be erasing user data. It's like a factory reset, maybe. Press any key to continue. Press any key, and the window should be closed. Yep, and now you're done. Next to the phone again. Now you can unplug the USB cable now. I did because I wasn't sure, but now I am. You can just unplug the USB cable. As you can see, we are it's we are flashing it. It's already flashed. It's setting it itself up. It'll take some time. The first boot will take some time. Just don't mind that. See, as you can see, we have the Cyanogen logo. And to confirm that it's the same phone, I just put up the back cover. And I have put it on charge as it was less in charge as the same phone. You can see the Sanjin boot screen. It's gonna take some time. By chance, if you are stuck in a boot loop, just comment in the comment in down below. I'm gonna make a video how to. Most probably you won't. As you can see, Android is upgrading, it's optimizing apps. Yep, this sure is gonna take 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see, it's optimizing app 22 of 128. Yep, there are going to be 128 apps, and all the Google apps will be pre installed. So, no worry about that. And it's it's not done. All optimizing everything is done. We are finalizing boot. And lo and behold, you're gonna get a Usanogen screen. Didn't you? Yes, we did. Just will I'll I'll quickly set this up and we'll be back. Look. Because the setting up is gonna take time to connect to my Wi-Fi network and everything, and I'll be back again. So, setting it up, it's done. Now, starting it. 
As you can see, U powered by Cyanogen OS. We have successfully flashed Cyanogen OS on our Eureka. And you'll get the OTA updates from now on, so no worry about that. As you can see, the app drawer is not KitKat anymore, it's Lollipop for sure. And even I'm gonna show you the app drawer now. Just check it out. Yep, there is the app drawer. It'll, it'll be laggy in the starting because the phone just setting it up. We have just installed a new ROM on it. So yeah, it's gonna take, it'll take two to three minutes. To let it set it up and the phone's gonna be buttery smooth. I assure you that. As you can see, it's lagging now, but it won't always. This is the first time. So as you can see, it's fast enough now. Now let us go to settings. As you can see. Okay. It's smooth enough. Let us go to settings now. About device. About phone. And let us check the CyanogenOS version. It's CyanogenOS 12.1. We have installed it. As you can see, Cyanogen mod it as it shows. And now we have the Cyanogen Flappy Bird game. Which, as you can see, I'm pretty bad at. <laughs> I couldn't even get a score of 1. Now oh, that's bad. So this, we are, we are got assured that it's know is 12.1. Now let us check the Android version, it's 5.1.1. Lollipop, as you can see. And here is the Lollipop Flappy Bird game. Most probably, I am bad at this, as I am bad at that. Both are the exact same games, right? Thanks for watching this video guys, please like this video, cause it does help me a lot. And please subscribe for any future updates and how to update and everything related. Until then, this is Prana from Gadgets Info, signing off.